so I really just wanted to get that out of the way because I wasn't trying to like take up so much time I, and I know like I could just talk 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 so I just wanted to really just like I said get out the way let's just get into it because I'm so excited and I've been wanting to do pink again like for a long time now <laughs> but yeah I got seen by the thumbnail and all that like we're gonna actually be, actually be doing a style like I'm excited and it's so freaking cute hold on let me take it off the line again but I love how it's just so cute honestly I already gave all the full details because I knew like I'm I just knew I was just gonna ramble and talk about this wig and just say like how cute it is but that's why I, I did the ball cap and all that already um I want to put it on first because I want to see like how it's gonna look without me spraying it because I know I had like problems with that before like with um colored wigs yeah I just had a problem with that I don't know why but I'm just gonna see if I should color the lace or if I should just leave it alone Ooh. okay I feel like I look crazy the the curls is curling though I'm not gonna lie y'all see that <laughs> like hold up let me let me zoom up for a second once I just like get it together, <laughs> the curls is curling. This side is. I feel like it always looks crazy before it looks good. So, relax. Um, I am gonna take my foundation i don't think i ever say this but i used the cool sienna 470 by milani to contour and i used that as my my lace tint i guess not i guess yeah i do <laughs> I just want to see how it looks. Okay, that actually looks better. Yeah, that looks better. And I think I am going to pluck this wig. I know it says it's pre-plucked, but I'm going to go in on my own and pluck it. Just so it could look a little bit more realistic. You know, like synthetic wigs, they come bulky already. So I'm just going to go in and do my own thing. And I'll let y'all watch. But yeah, I just, yeah. I'm just going to go in and pluck. Gotta break free. I think I'm gonna stop adding the makeup and just go in and plug. But um, I feel like the makeup is helping. Uh, for some reason, the even is it always comes out lighter. I feel like this kind of matches my skin tone a little bit more when I do the ball cap method. That works, but when it comes to like me trying to melt the lace and it just matches my foundation or whatever my um, milani foundation it just works better but i'm going to shut up and <laughs> i'm going to pluck Okay, y'all see me plucking, um, well, 
I didn't use tweezers because I just ended up realizing like I could just grab it and pull it out so I was like there's no point. If I keep plucking I really feel like it's just going to end up looking real real bald <laughs> and I don't want that and I don't want to make any mistakes. But I mean this is supposed to be trial and error on my channel. Um. I feel like it might be just a little bit bulky over here, so I'll fix that. Um, I feel like I did good over here because it's like, I mean, it looks good to me. Yeah, it looks good. And I kept thinking like, the cap started like right here somewhere, but it, it doesn't, like it starts all the way back here. So that's actually really good. I love that. I think when I did the pink wig before, the cap, like it started so close and no. Like that wig was so cute, but the construction of the wig, if they would have took a little bit more time and did it like this, like it was a human hair, human hair wig and actually thought about it, that wig would have been 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But, um... Yeah, I feel like this one is good. I really, really like it. I just want to show y'all like in detail. Alright, so this is basically what I do when I pluck. And I'm still learning, but um, I just separate. Then I may do a zigzag like this, just up and down. And then some hairs will come like a little bit and then I'll just pull them and then um like I wouldn't do it right here because it's already like like this it looks pretty fine but if I wanted to go back some more which I should anyway probably like starting right there get a clip Yeah, I will part it, take a couple of hairs, and pull, and I might skip a few, so it's not like I'm taking a big chunk, but I would say continue to like go back and forth and look like just do this to make sure you're not pulling like so much because if you do that you'll probably if you don't do that then you'll just have like a big ball spot and that is not what you want at all but if it's too thick I'll do the same thing like repeatedly within the same spot but bring it back and take a few hairs yet again and pull but skip a few at the same time that's just what i do um eventually like you'll find your own technique on how you want to do it and it'll just come automatic to you and it'll just it will be really really simple honestly but it is a very tedious task so do not rush the process make sure you take your time and Put on a movie. Like, just put on a movie. That's what I got going on right now. I put on a movie. I'm watching it. I'm going back and forth. I'm doing it. Also, if you want to use the mannequin, you can. But, honestly, I wouldn't suggest you using the mannequin because you're looking at the mannequin. You're not really looking at the wig on your head. I would say customize it to your own hairline. Or, you know, something. It just looks good. Like, it looks natural. Like, it it just looks good you know what I'm saying so make sure you I mean you can use the mannequin but go back and forth make sure it looks good on you too okay so yeah let's take this show off the road let's take this show off the road
so annoying. Like, what the heck? It lifted, started over, like, <laughs> it's okay. It is okay. So, I don't know what happened. Like, I I was just thinking that it was just this. But, I mean, not this, but the guys to be. I had to remove my ball cap. I had to do that all the way. I had to do that all over again. Then, I did um, my lace glue. And then, once I ended up spraying this, my cap ended up coming off again so wait what did i do i don't know i know something happened with this so it's not just the guys to be it's this too like i don't know what's going on at this point So while my curlers and everything is heating up, I just want to like go ahead and say my thoughts on this outro wig. Even though I know I saved it to the end, but I don't know. I just want to go in and just say it right now. Um, I absolutely love the color. I feel like it blended well. It was easy to pluck. Um, I just snatched the hairs out. But yeah, it's really easy. I think it's really easy to um, blend. Like to your scalp and everything. Um, it, it feels so soft. Like it's so soft. But I have had a all trade melted wig before. I can't remember which one, but I know it was a ginger one. I did post it on a shorts video, not like a full video. So, yeah, I should have posted it. But the only thing I can say that I am seeing right now is that I am getting snacks and.
finally got it up, y'all, to where, like, I want it. Um, let me zoom it out. Hopefully, it's giving the same thing. I don't know how to do a fish toe braid, so please don't come for me. Try my best. I feel like that's pretty much it. I'm going to do my makeup, and then I'll be back, and I'm going to finish out the video. It looks so weird. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to... I feel like it looks weird, but the lace looks good. The lace looks really good. Like, it looks good. Okay, beautiful people, I am back. This is where I am. I feel like I absolutely love it now. Like, not absolutely. No, I love it. Um, from now on, we only messing with the the melted hairlines. Okay. Melted hairlines, not the not the wigs that come with like a little bit of parting space. Like my previous pink wigs, if y'all go back and look at those videos, hold on. I bet. Had to zoom out for a second. But if y'all go back and look at those videos, child, a mess. Oh, but <laughs> not a mess, but you know what that is? Cool. But I really hope y'all like this video as much as I enjoyed creating it so much for the new people who subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're almost at a thousand. Okay. And also I have seen that my views well my by my analytics it showed me that I'm getting like 250k and I would have never thought. I would have never thought but I appreciate y'all so much and I'm going to continue to show up and I'm going to continue to show out. I already took it out of the packaging but this is the packaging that it came in. The same way I'm saying like I'm going to continue to show up. I am content coming, content coming, content coming, okay? Like I'm so serious. I'm putting in that work for myself and for y'all. And like I said, show up six months for yourself and stay consistent and that's what we're going to work on thank you so much for watching this youtube video i really really appreciate y'all and i'll see y'all in the next one bye y'all